Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to John R. Nelson Gymnasium for tonight's boys basketball season opener, season opener between the Rochester Zebras and your Culver Community Cavaliers. This broadcast is brought to you by the students of Culver Community High School's radio and TV course in partnership with RTC TV4. So thank you for watching as we get started with the 2021-22 Indiana High School boys basketball season. So we'll go ahead and do our lineups for you. First, for the visiting Rochester Zebras. Number four, Tarek McLaughlin, the junior. The junior, number 12, Luke Hunting. Number 24, Paul Leisure. Number 30, Aiden Smith. And the only senior on the Zebras roster, number 20, Evan Elliott. For the Cavaliers, at point guard, number four, Ethan Keller. Number 12, Emiliano Ortiz. Number 20, Jalen King, playing that wing forward position. And in the post will be number 32, Mason Herbert, and number 45, Marquez Anderson. So three seniors there for Culver. Excuse me, two seniors for Culver. Um, and three juniors. We're going into the National Anthem. We'll let you listen in. Well, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I misspoke there. We are going to do the national anthem first, and then we'll get into now, our starting lineups. The visiting Rochester High School Zebra, first for the non starter. <laughs> Number two, Hunter Campbell. Number three, Brock Bauer. Number five, Aaron Huffman. And as a custom here at Culver Community High School, and around the state, the first game of the year, the entire roster gets red. We'll go ahead and do that, keep that tradition alive and do that as well. Number two, Hunter Campbell. Number three, Brock Bowers. Number four, Tarek McLaughlin. Number five, Aaron Huffman. Number 11, Tanner Reinhardt. Number 12, Luke Hunting. Number 23, Colton Fervida. Number 24, Paul Leisure. Number 30, Aiden Smith. Number 32, Robert Bazo, number 34, Ethan Medina, and number 54, Xavier Vance, as well as number 20, Evan Elliott. So you can see the starters for Rochester there on your screen. Number 10, Oliver Morgan. Number 11, Joey Non-starters for the Cavaliers. Number 10, Oliver Morgan. Number 11, Joey Pizer. Number 22, Shane Schumann. Number 50, Stephen Pugh. And number 54, Austin Zayner. And your, as we read before, your starters are there on the screen. Let's listen in. Jalen King. 
So there they are, ladies and gentlemen. As we get started here to tip off the 2021-22 boys basketball season in 49 states it's just basketball but this is Indiana ladies and gentlemen and we are excited I know Rochester's excited this has been a big game for Culver all week long both in school and uh, at the coffee shop there's been a lot of talk surrounding this game and what the Cavaliers have uh, this season so we will uh, we will see here. The first few minutes should uh, give us a good, a good indication of what tonight's going to bring. Jalen King and Luke Hunting for the tip. King will win that, and Ethan Keller will bring the ball up the court for the Cavaliers. Off to King. Across, back to Keller. Keller with the ball up top over to Ortiz. Can't find anybody. Looks in. Over to the corner to Mason Herbert. Mason puts one up. No good. Ball's batted around. And it's going to be rebounded by Aiden Smith. And very quickly, the Zebras feed the ball down into the post. It'll be deflected out of bounds and stay Rochester ball. Leisure to throw the ball in for Rochester. Up top to McLaughlin. He drag dribbles, looks to attack. The ball around, looks inside, takes a jump, step. Hits the ball back outside, over in the corner to Smith. Smith back up top to McLaughlin. Cavaliers in that trap defense there. Ball inside the paint. Gets kicked back out. Shot goes up by Leisure, and it's good. So the Zebras get on the, ball, get on the board first. With Paul Leisure and the three-point shot. Cavaliers look to take it the other way. Back up top to Keller. Over to King. King looks. Can't find anything. Over to Ortiz. One dribble and pass there. Looks to pull up. Doesn't. Ortiz, same thing. Looks to shoot. Back over to Keller. Keller puts up the three. No good. And Leisure with the rebound for Rochester. Ball to McLaughlin. Looks to take it inside. Changes his mind. Skip pass to Smith. He'll take it in. Back out to McLaughlin. Inside the leisure. But the ball's going to be rebounded by Hunting. Ball's going to be rebounded by Hunting and put back up for two. The officials call a timeout here. And so, looks like there was something on the court. Herbert will inbound to Keller. Keller back to Ortiz, who looks to put one up. No good, rolls off, rebounded by Mason Herbert. He'll put it up and get fouled on the way up there. So the first foul of the night is going to be on Luke Hunting. Herbert at the line. And it'll bounce around and go in. He'll put the second one in as well. First points of the season for the Cavaliers come from free throws. That's always a good sign. As the Cavaliers put in the full court press. Look to trap here. Down inside. Good cut there by Smith. Ball will get over to Hunting. He'll put it up. No good. Rebounded by Culvert. Keller will push the ball up the court. Over in the corner to Herbert. One dribble and pass. Over to the corner to Herbert again. Back up top to Keller. Cavaliers looking to move the ball around quite a bit in Coach Evans's offense. Something they're very accustomed to. Looking for those defensive mistakes. Herbert in the corner. 
Pulls up a great shot. It won't go. McLaughlin with the ball. Over to Leisure. Leisure will put it up. It'll be rebounded by Hunting, who will put the ball up. And he's fouled, and the bucket goes in. That foul will be on number 20, Jalen King. Cavalier foul number 20, Jalen King. His first team's first. In the lineup for the Zebras, number 32, Robert Mazo. Shooting one, number 12, Luke Hunting. Tanner Reinhardt's coming in for the Zebras. That free throw will go in. 8-2 to two here. 4.55 left in the first quarter. Keller with the ball up top. Swings it over to Ortiz. Keller looks to pull up. Gets the ball to Ortiz. He looks to attack. Kicks it outside to Anderson. Anderson fumbled it a little bit. Couldn't get a shot up. Great post move. Great post move by Mason Herbert. Excellent job there. Ball's batted away by Marquez Anderson. It'll roll out of bounds. Great defensive start by the Cavs here and great offensive start by Rochester. Something that's... Uh, you don't see very often in a game. Ball deflected off the foot of Jalen King. Great inbounds pass there. And before he can put the ball up, they'll get McLaughlin on the double dribble. Keller will bring the ball up over to Ortiz, the corner to Anderson. He'll look to attack. One dribble and kick. Up top, back to Keller, then to King. Lots of ball movement by the Cavs. This motion style offense is based on that. Ball over to Anderson. He'll put up the three. Rolls off the front. Rebounded by McLaughlin. He'll take the ball up. But it'll be tipped away by Emiliano Ortiz and eventually roll out of bounds. Substitute comes, uh, substitutes coming in. Aaron Huffman. 54, Austin Zayner. And number 11, Joey Pizer. Coming in for King and Herbert. And I did not see who the... Substitution was for Rochester, who Huffman came in for. Great put back there by Huffman. And we got a foul called. That'll be on Culver. Foul will be on Joey Pizer. Ball's going to be inbounded by Leisure. Up top to Huffman. He looks to attack. Gets it over to Smith. Smith looks to make a move. Over to Bazo. Back in the corner to Smith. He'll put up the three, and it's good. Aiden Smith with a three-point shot for the Zebras. 11-4 here with three minutes left to go in the first. Substitutions coming in for both teams. Keller with the ball. Ball's going to be batted away by Huffman. Keller with the ball. He'll line up for the Zebras, number 12. 
Hunting and McLaughlin back in the game for Rochester. Schumann in the game for the Cavs. Zebras push the ball up the floor. Over to McLaughlin. He'll turn it over to Ortiz. He'll take the ball down the court. Get it up top. He'll get it up top to Keller. Ball inside to Schumann. Back out top to Zayner. Anderson looks to take the three-point shot. It's no good. Ball will be rebounded by Bazo. Shot attempt no good by Bazo. Keller will bring the ball up. Ball the corner to Austin Zayner. Very good shooter here. In and out. Rebounded by Schumann. He'll try to put the ball up. He'll be fouled in the process. Foul will be on McLaughlin. Xavier Vance coming in the game. And for Reinhardt. Ball's going to be stole by McLaughlin. They take it down, and Hunting will put up the two point basket for Rochester. So 13 to 4 here, minute left to go. First quarter. Keller with the ball. Back to Zayner in the corner. It'll go up. And nothing there. Rebounded by Anderson. Gets the ball into Ortiz. He'll drive. Pull one up. No good. It'll be rebounded by Zayner. Back up top to Keller. He'll get it over to Ortiz. He'll put up the three-point shot. And that's good. Emilio, Emiliano Ortiz with the three-point basket for the Cavs. Ball immediately taken in by the Zebras. Huffman with the ball. Ball will be kicked by Anderson. Herbert coming back in again for Austin Zayner. And Leisure will come in the game for Huffman. Smith will also come back in the game for the uh, Zebras. 7 to 13, 29 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Official made him uh, go back to the scorer's bench as he came in kind of quick there. Ball fed into the post. Up tap to Smith. Over to McLaughlin. And it'll roll off the hands of Hunting. Seventeen point eight seconds left here. See what the Cavaliers look to do. Obviously, going to try to control the ball for the rest of the period. But see how much time it takes. Another going to look to score right away. Great shot by Shane Schumann there. And that brings us to the end of the first quarter where your score is Rochester 13, Culver Community 9. We'll be right back. Rochester leads the Cavaliers 13 to 9. All the Cavaliers points coming late in the quarter. Rochester will inbound the ball with McLaughlin. Back out over to the corner to Smith. He'll put up a three. It'll be no good, but it'll be rebounded by Hunting. Leisure with a three. Rolls off the front of the rim. And I think they're going to get Shane Schumann on a foul here. We will see. Yes. They got him with the push there. Evan Elliott coming in for Rochester. Leisure with the ball. 
out of bounds. He'll get it to Elliott. Up top to Smith. Over to McLaughlin. Inside to Hunting. Over to Leisure. He'll make a basketball move, put it up, and they'll get their own, uh, excuse me, the ball will be rebounded uh, by Hunting. Batted around there. Rochester will pull the ball out here. Having some difficulty with that trap Culver has on. Great athletic move there by McLaughlin. Well, they'll say that went out of bounds on the Cavaliers, and so it'll be Rochester ball. Elliott will put the ball up for Rochester on the inbound play. And here comes the press by the Zebras. Oh, oh, we'll see. Okay. The officials made the right call there. Coach, uh, Coach Evans was screaming for a timeout here. The official uh, on the ball was signaling for a jump ball. So the Cavaliers will take a 30-second timeout as that uh, full-court defense or three-fourths court defense and the trap proved to be effective for Rochester. Uh, and so a lot more aggression from the Zebras. Since the start of the second quarter, Coach Evans, uh, Coach Evans, making sure that uh, he can be heard in the huddle. Six forty-four left to go here. with the ball. Gets it over to Ortiz. Then to Keller. Inside to Herbert. He'll put the ball up and no good. Rebounded by Hunting. McLaughlin with the ball. Over in the corner to Leisure. And back to McLaughlin. Smith with the ball. Back to Tarek. McLaughlin will put the ball up, no good, and it will roll out of bounds and be Cavalier basketball. Their D is pretty good. Yeah, Culver's uh, Culver's defense definitely, uh, as a as a team uh, and, and a program, Coach Evans has a defensive mindset, and uh, points didn't fall last year, so the emphasis was going to be. Uh, on offense this year, but it looks like that defense is uh, definitely held strong. Herbert in the corner, he'll put the ball up for three. No good, but it'll be rebounded by King. He'll put it back up. And that one rolls off the front of the rim. So two opportunities there for the Cavs. McLaughlin will drive and put up a little 15-foot shot for Rochester. The Cavaliers have very athletic players on the floor right now. Uh, the uh, shots just don't seem to be falling right now for Culver. Of course, Rochester, extremely athletic. Lots of experience. And you can see their turnover by the Cavs. Five minutes flat to go here in the second quarter. Oliver Morgan will come in for the Cavs. In for Ethan Keller. Reno Zayner and Joey Pizer will also come in for Herbert and King. And Anderson will come in for Shane Schumann. Reinhardt's coming in for the Zebras in place of Hunting. So the Cavaliers with a line change. And Rochester brings in one. Leisure with the ball. He'll get it over to McLaughlin. Down to Then to Smith. 
the pass. Lane to up top to Smith. Skip pass over to McLaughlin. Cavaliers looking to get that trap. Elliott will put up a shot. Spends his body into it. And the officials are talking about the foul here. Foul will be on number 11, Joey Pizer, his second. Team's fourth. 9 to 17, 4.33 to go here in the second quarter. Elliott at the line for Rochester. First one's good. Coming to the game for the Cavaliers is going to be Keller and King. Place of Ortiz and Pizer. Hunting will come back in the game for Rochester. Shots up and it's good. So 19 to 9 here. Kind of an interesting dynamic here tonight. The Cavalier students are sitting on one end of the floor, same side of the bleachers as the Rochester students, but both on the Culver side instead of the Rochester side. Yeah, I noticed that at the start of the game. So you got Culver students and, uh, and Rochester students sitting together. Reno Zanner with the three, no good, rebounded by Hunting and brought up the court by McLaughlin. And big foul there by Marquez Anderson. Cavalier foul number 45. That'll be his first, first team's fifth. McLaughlin at the line for Rochester. It's the line up for the Zebra, number 32. Robert Pazzo coming in a game for Rochester. And both of McLaughlin's shots will fall good. Continuing with the press for Rochester. Ball will be deflected away, but Rebounded by Culver. Hunting on the steal. Gets it inside. That, uh, that was an interesting step there. No whistle. And the Zebras will put it in. Keller with the ball. Gets it over to Anderson. He'll bring it across the line. Over in the corner to Austin Zaner. Down to the baseline with Jalen King. He looks to put it up. Ball falls short. McLaughlin almost tripped up there by Morgan. Ball to Leisure. Leisure over to Smith. He'll throw it back to him in the quarter to McLaughlin. Bazo in the corner. Gets it up top to, who's that, Aiden Smith. Hunting with the shot. He'll follow his ball, get his, uh, try to get his own rebound, follow a shot, tries to get his own rebound, and got caught in that foul there. It's a great hustle by, uh, great hustle by Luke Hunting. The chances of that happening are, are slim to none in most situations. A great athletic effort, something coaches want to see following your own shot like that. That'll be his second, so he'll come out of the game. Xavier Vance will come in in his place. Coach Malko's called off the dogs here, going back to the half-court press. Over in the corner to Zayner. Rebounded by King. He'll put it up, and once again, that ball falls right off the front of the rim. Hey, 
Ball is out of bounds. It looked like Bazo made the cut the wrong way there. He cut up. The ball was passed down, and it rolls out of bounds. So Cavalier ball. 2.17 left here in the second quarter. Ball over to Anderson. He'll skip it down to Ortiz. Ortiz will look. Chooses not to skip it inside. Ball in the corner with Zayner. And Anderson will pull up for three. It'll be no good, but athletic move by Austin Zayner. And the bank shot will go in by Jalen King. With the ball. Looks to to Bazo, and his three's good. Robert Bazo with a great shot there for the Zebras. Keller with the ball up top for Culver. Back over to Anderson in the corner to Ortiz. He'll look to put one up. No good. And they'll get uh, Austin Zayner with the over-the-back call. Keller foul number 54. Herbert and Schumann coming in the game for King and Zayner. Pleasure will take the ball. Over to Smith, to McLaughlin. Back to Leisure. Back to Smith. Cut inside. McLaughlin, Tarek will take a couple dribbles. Trying to avoid the trap. Cavaliers getting after it a little bit. Great job moving the ball there by Rochester. Ball will be in the corner to Bazo. His uh, shot will sh fall short. He'll get his own rebound and put the ball up 4-2. Great athletic play there by Robert Bazo. Her defense is just absolutely relentless, so she still managed to get it in there. Absolutely. The Cavaliers were in the right spot. The... Uh, just great athletic ability and great hustle by Bazo. Herbert from the corner, and that one's good. Three 27 seconds left to go here in the half. McLaughlin with the ball in the corner. Great step around bounce pass by McLaughlin. They look to attack. Leisure with the ball. Seven seconds left here. McLaughlin puts one up, and it's good. And so at halftime, your score, Culver 14, Rochester 30. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. You're watching Culver TV and RTC TV. Well, as we begin the third quarter here, your score is Rochester 30, Culver 14. And for the second half, I'm going to be joined by Miss Megan Pearl. Megan, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Uh, thank you for being here and, and doing of the course. second half with us. I know that you weren't originally scheduled to do the second half. And so uh, we really appreciate you being here. Zeke, thank you also for stepping up and uh, doing both film for the first half. Cavaliers come out strong. Mason Herbert draws the foul, but the ball is going to roll off the front of the rim. Zebra foul. Hunting with the foul. That's going to be his third. Not a good look if you're the Rochester Zebras to start the second half. Mason Herbert. Val just talked about at halftime those uh, that he's in just a little bit of foul trouble there. Had to be careful. We'll see how that plays out the rest of the game. 32, Robert Bato. Herbert with the second shot. No good. Rebounded by Emiliano Ortiz. Get the ball to Keller up top. Over in the corner to Anderson. Back to Ortiz. Rochester in the 2 3 zone. Ball screened by King. We'll get it inside to Herbert. He'll put it up. Not, and that uh, that shot won't go in. Cavaliers have had about 
10 or 15 of us and put those all together. <laughs> They're in the lead here. Yeah. Ball in the corner to Bazo. Into McLaughlin. Great step around, bounce pass. They'll say, uh, they will say Evan Elliott travels there as he gets the ball at the block. Looks like Rochester will stick to that 2-3 zone. Mm -hmm. They've been successful, so. Absolutely. And changing defenses a couple times uh, a couple times throughout the game in the first game of the year. It's definitely uh, definitely interesting to see that a, you know, a team can do that. It's a testament to how well coached they are. Ball's batted around there, and there's going to be a foul coming up. Zebra foul. Foul's going to be on number 20, Evan Elliott, his first, team second. second. Keller will inbound the ball here. Gets it inside to Anderson. Back in the corner to Keller. And to Herbert. Cavaliers will pull it out, try to run something here. Over in the corner to Anderson. We'll get the ball inside to Herbert. He gets wrapped up. And the ball will roll out of bounds. Coach Evans uh, letting the official know that he got held there. Cavaliers with a full court press over to McLaughlin. He looks to attack, gets by the Cavalier defenders, takes a great Euro step and puts the ball in the basket for Rochester. Great athleticism by mm -hmm. Tarek McLaughlin. He's had a couple good plays like that too. Yeah, he's very, first. very, very, very athletic. And only a junior. Really? Cavaliers look to feed the ball back inside. Lots of pushing and shoving going on there. Ball up top to Ortiz. So back to Keller. Over in the corner to King. Over to Anderson to King. King will look to put it up. No good. Got away with the extra step there. It'll be rebounded by... Leisure. And Robert Bazo with the basket for Rochester. I think I've been pronouncing Leisure's name wrong. I think it's Leisure. Val, Val uh, said that at halftime, so I trust in Val Tesaurus. Rebounded by number 32, Robert. Bonzo. Cavaliers look to go for the steal there. Both Cavaliers jump the ball. Luckily, Jalen King was there to deflect the ball. Pizer coming in the game for Marquez Anderson. Pizer yet to get very much time tonight with two fouls at inconvenient times. Mm-hmm. Ball's going to be rebounded by Bazo and then put in the basket by Aiden Smith. 37-14 here. Cavaliers scoreless in the first half. Ball to Herbert, up top to Keller. Back in the corner to Herbert. He'll put up the three, and that one will go. Mason Herbert with a great shot for Culver. Rochester looking to push the ball up the court quickly. Gets it over in the corner to Bazo. That one will roll no good. Rebounded by Joey Pizer. Over to Keller. Ortiz with the ball. Let's see if he takes a shot here. He doesn't. Great move by Keller. Here's the shot. Here's the shot from Ortiz. Ooh, Ooh and they're going to get Pizer with that third foul. A little too aggressive there. I agree with the call. Mm-hmm. Keller foul number 11, Joey Pizer. His third, team's first in the second half. In the lineup for... Lots of substitutions coming in. Vance. Reinerts for the Zebras, for Culver. It's going to be 
Austin Zayner and Shane Schumann. Took me a little while. There's a lot of substitutions <laughs> there. I had to think of who's coming in for who. McLaughlin with the ball. Over to Huffman. To Vance. Vance to Ella, uh, excuse me, that's not Elliot, Aiden Smith. Back to Huffman. Skip over. Great block there by Joey Pizer. Picks up his fourth foul. A little out of control there. Cavalier foul on number 11, Joey Pizer. His fourth team second. And the Zebras will take a 30-second timeout. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to John R. Nelson Gymnasium and Culver Community High School. Midway through the third quarter, your scores Culver 17, Rochester 37. Shots just not falling for Culver tonight. Mm -mm. Rochester taking advantage of every opportunity they can, doing a great job of it. Very few turnovers, very few mistakes by Rochester. Lots of turnovers, a lot of mistakes, and a lot of missed shots by Culver. Reinhardt's at the line for Rochester. He'll put the first one in. And he'll put that one in as well. Keller looks to Ortiz. Up top to Anderson. Ortiz in the corner puts up a shot. No good. Rebounded by Lazier. And they're going to pick up... Uh, Ethan Keller with a foul there. His first. Teams, excuse me, third of the first, or excuse me, third of the second half. McLaughlin coming in the game for Rochester. He'll replace Aiden Smith. Huffman will inbound the ball for Rochester. Ball's going to be deflected away by Anderson. Luckily, the Zebras will get it back. Leisure looks to drive, gets it inside to Reinhardt, and Reinhardt will put it in for two. Megan, I find it interesting that the, it could just be the beginning of the year, but both teams I've noticed, they're getting that extra step tonight that mm. normally, and definitely in boys basketball, you don't get. Mm -mm. But tonight they're giving that extra pick up the foot before the ball goes down. And, and like I said, that could be a, uh, a beginning of the year thing. And, and then something I found interesting tonight that I've, that I've noticed that normally or historically hasn't happened. Ball's deflected out of bounds. It's going to be inbounded by Culver. Keller gets it over, and he'll turn it over to Huffman. Anderson was open in the corner. Huffman did a great job of getting there. Turnover by Rochester there. Good job by Austin Zaner and Marquez Anderson of forcing that turnover. Zebras in the 2-3. Over to Ortiz. Down inside to Schumann. And they're going to get Vance on the foul there. Xavier Vance. That'll, let's see, that should be his first. Zebra foul number 54, Xavier Vance. His first it is. Third. Team's third. Cavaliers back in the four low inbound set. Up top to Ortiz. Up, 
Anderson with the ball. Over to Keller. Culver looking to get the ball inside. In the corner to Austin Zayner. Gets inside to Shane Schumann. They're going to get Vance again with that push. I think he's playing pretty good defense down there, mm -hmm. but the official, the official says otherwise. Zebra foul, number 54. Zayner hits second. Keys four. Into the lineup for the Zebra. Bazo coming in the game for Rochester. Ortiz doesn't take the shot. He tries to get it to Anderson. Cavaliers will try to argue that it's tipped, but the official will say zebra ball. Ryan, excuse me, that's McLaughlin with the ball. Looks to skip pass down into Reinhardt. He'll get the ball over to Bazo. Bazo will get fouled. Cavalier power, 45, Marquez Anderson, his second, team score. Two line to shoot, 41-17 here. Robert Bazo at the line for Rochester. First shot is good. Everyone's no good. Rebounded by Austin Zayner. Zebra's pressing here. Austin Zayner will put up the three. It's going to be no good. Rebounded by Bazo. And they're going to get the foul, the little hand check on Ethan Keller. That'll be his second, team's fifth. Jalen King coming in the game for the Cavaliers, replacing Austin Zayner. Loose ball on the floor, lots of Cavaliers going after it. Possessions won by the Zebras, but Marquez Anderson says otherwise. Takes the ball away from Reinhardt, and it'll be Cavalier ball. Great hustle defensively by Marquez Anderson. Ortiz with the ball. Keller will put up the three, and that'll be good. So, 20 to 42 here. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> We're back here at John R. Nelson Gymnasium. The Rochester Zebras lead your Culver Cavaliers 42 to 20 in the season opener on this wonderful Thanksgiving Eve. Coming out of the timeout here, it'll be Zebra Ball. McLaughlin will bring the ball up. Cavaliers in a half-court defense. Get the ball to Smith. Smith will look to attack. They'll get it over to Leisure, but it'll be stripped away by Shane Schumann. Emiliano Ortiz looks to put the ball up, but that'll be blocked by Smith, and they'll call Smith for a foul on that. Let's watch that again. It looks like he did him in there a just, just a little bit. Yeah. Ortiz will put his first one in. I think the, with the body cut in the hand, I think the hand was very clean. They're going to call a foul. It was after he let go of the ball. So Ortiz will get credit for the free throw. And there's a foul on Shane Schumann. That's his second. Team sixth. Yes, 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 yes. 
Smith will assume the point guard responsibilities in the Cavaliers' defense. Ball's going to be overthrown, but controlled by McLaughlin. Smith to Lazier, Lazier to McLaughlin, and they're going to get the foul on Ortiz. Coach Evans having to turn away from the official here. I don't know about that one. They have better eyes than we do, right? <laughs> so we will go to the line where Rochester is in the bonus. McLaughlin at the line. Puts up the first one. It's good. Rochester, great, great from the free throw line. No doubt about that. Coach Malco does a great job getting those guys to make those free throws fall. Herbert coming in the game for Calder. Ryan Arts for Rochester. And he'll put his second one in. Rochester with the 22-point lead here. Great defense turnover. by Rochester. Another turnover. That's going to be put back by Bazo. Once again, the Cavaliers weren't expecting the full court pressure. And they turn it over right before the end of the third quarter. So at the end of three, your score, Rochester 46, Culver 22. So definitely an interesting uh, football basketball. Val and I talked the uh, half, and we said, see what adjustments time. And, uh, and so far, we haven't seen uh, uh, you know, too many adjustments there. And once again, like we talked about, Megan, everything's going right for, for Rochester right now. On top of that, they have great athletes. They're well coached. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're very good players. Shots are falling. They're in the right positions. You know, that comes down to uh, great effort, great coaching, and, and great kids. Uh, Culver, on the other hand, great coaching, great kids, and things aren't going the right way. So we will see how, uh, how the Cavaliers will adjust here in the fourth quarter. Rochester will have possession to start the fourth quarter. That was a good pass. That was a great pass and a great put up there by Luke Hunting. He got that foul at the very beginning of the half and hasn't, uh, didn't see any time there in the third quarter. Coach Malco put him back in. You got two left. Let him go, right? Mm-hmm. Culver looking to move the ball. Gets it to Ortiz. Ortiz to Keller. Keller looks to make a move. Out to Ortiz. Ortiz will put it up, and it'll be good. Three-point back to number 12. Eddie Rano, Ortiz. Oh. See who this foul is going to be on. It's going to be on Aiden Smith. King at the line. First one falls no good. And the second one falls good. Pizer in the game for Culver. Joey Pizer, who's an outstanding athlete, only had about three minutes of playing time this game. Because every time he came in off the bench, he got called for a foul. He's going to get his fifth foul right there. So a total of three minutes all game long for Joey Pizer. That's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. He's a great athlete. Seemed to get picked on a little bit tonight. Uh, 
So the uh, the Zebras will go to the line, and they'll get a substitute for Pizer, which will be Shane Schumann. McLaughlin will be at the line. He puts his first one in. I'm a little bit behind here on the score. I apologize to those of you at home. 49-26 call uh, Rochester. And he puts that one in as well. Keller with the ball. Gets it over to Ortiz. Up top to Anderson. Inside to Schumann. Schumann will put that ball up for two. Great pass there. Good luck. Ball's batted around. Picked up by Herbert. Given back to Keller. Pushed down the floor to Ortiz. He'll lose it out of bounds. So Zebras will take possession after turnover by the Cavs. Smith with the ball. Trying to avoid the trap here. Skips it over to Hunting. Hunting over to Lazier. Lazier to McLaughlin. Inside great pass. Absolute terrific pass by McLaughlin. Great cut by Lou Cunning. Foul's going to be on Marquez Anderson. To the line to shoot two for the Zebras, number 12, Luke Hunting. Anderson's third, team's ninth. Hunting is going to be at the line. The official discussing if that was intentional or not. They'll say it wasn't. Just an athletic foul. Hunting puts his first one in. Austin Reno Zayner coming in the game for Culver. Hunting second shot will fall. Once again, Coach Malco does a great job. Great job with, uh, with that he always has. Rochester continues to be great free throw shooters year after year. I don't know what his recipe is there, but. Uh, I assume every practice, at least for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> Lots of excitement there. They're going to get. Marquez Anderson on the push. That will put the Zebras in the double bonus. Oliver Morgan getting ready to come into the game. Jalen King and Oliver Morgan coming in the game for Schumann and Anderson. 53-28 here. With 5.57 left in the fourth quarter. Oliver Morgan with that lane violation there. Just down knew he did it. The shot went in, in, in anyway, so no harm, no foul there. Keller brings the ball up for Calder. Over to Ortiz. Ball up top to Morgan.
Lots of ball movement here. Rochester doing a great job rotating in that 2-3 zone. Ortiz with a shot. And another foul on Culver. We're going to get that on Austin Zayner with the elbow. That'll be an offensive foul, they'll call it. So, no shots. Huffman coming in a game for Rochester. Sixteen fouls called here in the in the uh, second half. Definitely a little tighter than it was the first half. First half uh, kind of loose, able to be aggressive. Both teams aggressive. Uh, Rochester aggressive offensively. Culver aggressive defensively, and uh, can tell that that's that's not uh, not helped either one in the second half. So Rochester will step out of bounds with it. It'll be Cavalier ball. Four fifty-eight left here. Fifty-four twenty-eight Rochester. Cavaliers moving the ball here. Inside to Austin Zayner, put the ball up. It'll be blocked by Huffman, and they'll get him for the foul. Great athletic move by, by Huffman. Not sure what... Uh, what they saw that, that we didn't or that any you know the right in front of the Rochester student section there. Zayner will put his first one in. Ryan Arts coming in for Rochester. As I was saying, I'm not sure what uh, what the officials saw there that, that nobody else did. The student section didn't like it. But that's that's normal. Right. Looked like a great athletic play by Aaron Huffman. Coach Malco asking the official what happened. Both shots are good by Austin Zayner. McLaughlin with the ball. There's that extra step again that yeah. uh, we talked about. That foul is going to be 10 Oliver Morgan with the push. Keller foul on 10. Oliver Morgan hits first. Two lines to shoot two. For the Zebras, number 11, Tanner Reiners. First one's no good. That might be the first free throw I've seen not go in by Rochester. We'll double check that with, uh, with Val after the game, but <laughs> I think you're right. At least he re redeemed himself. <laughs> He'll make up for it on the second one. 30 to 55. 25 point lead by the Zebras. Four minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. Nice pass. Great pass by Jalen King inside to Oliver Morgan, who can't get the shot to fall, but he gets fouled. He's going to go to the line. The foul's going to be on Luke Hunting. That's his fifth. Xavier Vance in the game for Hunting. Hunting has played a great game of basketball tonight. An absolutely terrific game of basketball. He, uh, what an athlete. My hat's off to that young man. He's done an outstanding job job tonight and it's unfortunate that he has to come out of the game with those five fouls but unfortunately sometimes that's the way it goes Morgan's first shot does not roll in 
Schumann comes in the game for Culver. Second one's no good. Going to be rebounded by Vance. McLaughlin will bring the ball up for Rochester. Continuing to push the ball up the court. Vance will get it in the corner. Morgan trying to get the jump ball. And they'll get the foul called. Culver wanting the jump ball. Coach being very adamant on the jump ball, but they'll get Oliver Morgan with the foul. That's the 20th foul in the second half. Game one of the 2021 season. Interesting to see. And at this point, I know I've been kind of subtly mentioning it all night, but the frustration by Culver is definitely building up here as they get, yeah. as they get a warning. You know, the, the officiating has been very poor. And I don't like saying that. It's not professional to say that. Yeah. And I, I don't represent myself or the school very well when I say it. But at some point, uh, even Coach, Coach Evans is defending his team as he should. <laughs> uh, I know it's the first game out of the year here, out of the gate. But, uh, but when... As you just saw there, the official turned around and stopped the game, gave Coach Evans a warning, uh, you know, bench warning, as Coach was, was letting him know that, that he has made several mistakes tonight. So we'll kind of move forward. I think Co that uh, gets Coach's frustration out as well. In the meantime, Xavier Vance hits the first one, or excuse me, missed the first one, hit the second one, I was off by a point watching the events in front of me unfold. We're going to get an offensive foul on Culver again. The 21st foul of the half on Shane Schumann. We'll say that he pushed off. The officials uh, giving Coach Evans the ultimatum there. So once again, we'll just move forward. And the ball will be inbounded by Rochester. Over to Vance. Vance to Lazier. Lazier puts one up. Great 15-foot jump shot by Paul Lazier. Great athletic ability. Ortiz with the ball. And this is the first Culver Boys basketball game of the year. Usually, as we talked about in the pregame, this is the 53rd straight meeting uh, between these two teams. And it's been the home opener since 2000, continuously. Emiliano Ortiz with the three for Culver. And usually there's a JV game before this, but due to some unfortunate events from the uh, from the Culver side, there's no JV game. There was no JV game tonight, so so your your varsity boys basketball game is the season opener, which is which is interesting. And and Megan, I know you know you you played basketball and you're basketball minded. What's that like for you as a player to watch that JV game before and then go to varsity basketball game? What are your feelings? Well, when I sit and watch the JV game last year, I, um, I was just like watching how the JV was and most likely the varsity is always better than the JV. So I'm like watching like what to do or like what I can do to improve in the in the game. Right, Very, that's a great answer, especially <laughs> as a player. That's a, a you know coaches love hearing that. Uh, so do you, did you ever feel that that helped? Well, like you kind of answered the question. You felt that that helped you get prepared for oh, that yeah. game. Oh yeah. And, and without that, uh, you know, obviously somewhat of a disadvantage for both teams, not just for one team or the other, but but for both teams, um, you know that that's always something that. You know, you kind of get a little feel for. Yeah. Uh, 
Two minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Rochester will bring the ball in. I want to take a quick moment to give a huge shout out to Mr. Steve Stricker producing today's uh, game. Mr. Stricker from RTC TV4 always does a great job providing resources to our students in our class. Ortiz will steal the ball. He'll be fouled by Brock Bowers. Ortiz will go to the line. His first one will be good. Both are good. 35-58 Rochester. Two minutes left to go. McLaughlin with the ball. Gets it to Lazier. Lazier to Bowers. Bowers to Vance. Vance will lose control of it. And they'll call a jump ball. Culver with the possession. Austin Zayner coming in the game for the Cavaliers for Jalen King. There's that extra step by Culver that time. Double bonus for Culver now. Zebra foul number 20. Foul's going to be on. His first. The line should be double bonus. Evan Elliott. Correction, Elliott's not on the court. That foul's going to be on number two. Hunter Campbell, so his first, team's 10th. Both of those will go. Campbell with the ball. Turnover by Rochester, controlled by Ethan Keller. Three-point shot by Mason Herbert's no good. Got to be re uh, batted around. We'll see who gets a rebound here. Great hustle by Bowers there. Get the rebound for Rochester. Vance with the ball to Ryan Arts. Ryan Arts to Campbell. Campbell to McLaughlin. Looks to be athletic. They're going to get Shane Schumann with the body there. Looks like he tried to take a charge, but those don't always work, unfortunately. And, and that, we talked once again in the pregame about Culver's improvement and, and how Coach Evans is a defensive-minded coach. Mm -hmm. uh, I love telling this story. I've told it a couple times on RTC, but when Coach Evans first got here, uh, McLaughlin will put his first one in. When Coach Evans first got here, uh, he and I had a bet just, just for fun. Right, and I guess it wasn't a real bet as much as it was a, a <laughs> I bet you type of thing. And he said, I bet you that we break the, the record for the most charges in school history, and sure enough, he did. So definitely defensive-minded. The second one's good for McLaughlin. One minute left here in the fourth quarter. Cavaliers looking to get some shots. Austin Zayner in the corner. Cavaliers looking to make something happen here. 41 seconds left. Shot by Ortiz. Doesn't fall. Bowers will bring the ball up. He'll get it off to McLaughlin. Back to Bowers. Over to Fervida. Nice deal by Emiliano Ortiz, and it is good. 
So 60-39 here with 17 seconds left to go. Ten second violation called. Cavaliers fighting to the end here. 9.5 seconds left on the clock. Score, the ending score will be Rochester 60 and your Cavaliers 41.